Hi, my name is Jack Marsh. I'm with Innovative IDM, and today we're here to talk about the Parker Automation Controller working with the Iskawa Sigma 5 series of amplifiers. Parker's new Parker Automation Controller, or PAC, is a machine automation controller that utilizes the IE61131 programming standard, PLC open motion control blocks, and the EtherCAT networking protocol to talk to motion devices and high-speed I.O. devices. The Yaskawa Sigma 5 series of servos uh, is nice because of the high-resolution 20-bit encoders, the advanced auto-tuning, and the ability to talk with different networking protocols like EtherCAT. To make these two different products talk together, we need to make sure that the Parker Automation Controller has the configuration files that are provided by Yaskawa for its EtherCAT standard. So the first step is to import the configuration files that are provided by Yaskawa into the Parker Automation Manager software, which is a free download from parkermotion.com. We'll create a new project using the standard project template. We'll use the function block diagram for this application, and it'll create all the standard things that we would need for a project. Under Tools, Device Repository, Install, we would install the XML files from Yaskawa. We've already downloaded and unzipped that file. Then we would go online with the system just by typing in its IP address. 192.168.10.50 is the default. We get a green light, we know we're online. If we don't get a green light, you can check the IP address on your computer, make sure the Parker Automation Controller is powered up, normal troubleshooting steps. Then we'll scan for devices. The controller will look out on the network, see what's there. It recognizes the Escala drive. We'll add that to the project. We'll add a soft motion axis so we can actually control it. We'll rename that something convenient, like just the letter X for X axis. The project will refactor and populate that X throughout its code and variable names. And then we can do a little housekeeping on our tasks, get them in the right place. We want the program that's controlling the motion in the same task as the Ethernet master. So we've, we've got that. There's some settings you need to check on your Ethernet master. And these are all in the application note that goes along with the video, as well as application notes from Parker and the user manual. So these aren't magic numbers. You just need to look up what the value should be. From that point, we can start adding our code. I've already done that, so let's switch over to another device, another project that, where that's already completed. I've added PLC motion blocks, PLC open motion blocks, read status, check the status of the drive, drive reset in case there are errors, power, and move relative. We'll go ahead and go online with this. We can use the built-in visualization tool to turn the motor on. As you can see right now, it's disabled. We hit this button, now it's enabled. The motor's holding position. We can set a move distance We'll do 10 revolutions. We hit our start move button, and the motor's going to spin. We can change our distance, we can change our speed, trigger another move, and it'll go. We can also use Internet Explorer to communicate to the Parker Automation Controller using its built in visualization, and it's going to show us a picture of the visualization code that we've got. So we can also trigger moves right from Internet Explorer. So that wraps up our demonstration of the Parker Automation Controller with Yaskawa's Sigma 5 Servo Series. Again, I'm Jack Marsh with Innovative IDM, the home of the legendary customer experience. You can download these application notes and sample code at our website at InnovativeIDM.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.